Hi there, this is Ben Porter over at Polysource Industries. Today we'll be looking at a much requested video for our ProLift 3.5 slab jacking foam. Our ProLift 3.5 is the perfect solution for lifting these sunken stairs. These stairs had already been mud jacked twice in their lifetimes and had sunk on both occasions. We are using our PMC PX7 slab jacking gun with the slab jacking kit attachments. With its robust design and mechanical purging, it is the gun of choice in the industry for lifting foam. As you can see here in the basic diagram, when you pull the trigger, the valving rod retracts, allowing the A and the B components to mix in the pour chamber, and when you release the trigger, the valving rod then goes back into place, preventing the A and B from being released. Mechanical purge guns are the only way to go when conquering lifting as when the foam pressure becomes great and the foam comes through the injector port, the valving rod doesn't allow the foam into the gun, causing a crossover. With the air purge option, however, the gun could easily become crossed over. With our Boss Hammer Drill and our 5 8 bit, we drilled the holes. Make sure that you have a bit of a 3 to 4 feet when concrete lifting to be able to get far enough down to inject. As you can see here, we have laid 6mm poly down and cut a hole for the injector to go through. This is to prevent the foam from staining the concrete if it comes back out through the injector port. We then hammer the injector into the 5 8 hole with a rubber mallet and then use a wrench to tighten it down. Making sure that we have micrometers set up at all the lifting points so that we can see even the smallest of movements, we're ready to start lifting. The reason why foam jacking is preferred over traditional mud jacking is because with mud jacking, a heavy concrete slurry is introduced to raise the sunken concrete. This can work initially, but over time it can sink the sunken concrete once again due to the weight that was added by the concrete slurry. With our ProLift 3.5, we introduce a lightweight, eco-friendly product to lift the concrete. On top of all this, our ProLift 3.5 has 90 PSI of compressive strength, which is huge and is hydrophobic, meaning that it will react in water perfectly. If you're comparing injection hole sizes as well, with foam jacking we use a 5 inch inch hole, whereas with the traditional mud jacking you use a 2 inch hole. The 2 inch holes are very noticeable once they're patched. Here are some photos of the job completed. We have now patched over our small injection holes with a quick set mortar mix and are in and out of the job in under 2 hours. Cleanup is minimal and we're on our way. Polysource Industries, your one-stop shop for all things foam and protective coatings.